All right, we are back. I am your host, Mid, and we are playing Battletech. Hope you're having a wonderful day. All those out there watching this after the fact or those lurking in chat, that would... I, I, it's a nice weekend. A little dreary where I'm at, so... But not complaining, don't have to work, so that's good. Make sure that my mic is on. Like, unlike the last time I came back from a break. <sighs> yep, it is. Everything's looking good. All righty. We are on a take the bait mission. It, it is a basically trigger a trap. Straight up battle. Um, Commander of the Arano Restoration is tracking an extremely heavy mech with Directorate Heraldry. This provocation is most almost certainly bait for a trap. We'd like you to spring this trap. Engage the heavy mech. Intercept the forces of the Oregon Directorate sends that the Oregon Directorate sends to defend it and destroy all of them. I am not comfortable with how little information we have about the enemy forces, Commander. Noted, Darius. But we're going to go do it anyway. Command interface initiated. We're in the area where the hostile mech was sighted. Move up and try to flesh it out. Let's see what sort of trap this is. Stay alert, Commander. Oliveira out. Okay. Lay of the land. Okay, I'm liking it so far. There is a lot of like places where we can get cover. Oh yeah. I've actually had a similar map and a similar mission setup, I believe. Which this is good because I can utilize this structure and such for cover. And get the high ground and fire down on them because they're going to basically be all in this area. So what I want to do, because it's not really practical to go around this side. Um, although I could go up here with my jumpers, get them up there and then move my uh, stalker around the backside if I need to. Or just keep my stalker down here and fire behind this cover. Because it should be able to reach everywhere, so... Once we engage them here. Okay, so Decker, let's get you moving. You can jump, so we're going to just get you up here. <clears throat> get you moving. Everybody moving. Yeah, it's a relatively small map as well. It's like, yeah, you could swing around this side, but not as good a ground. The center structure area in this built up area is actually really nice place to fight it's good ground um going around this side not so much but it's better than going around the left side so all right so let's get decker jumping let's do this let's try to keep him from triggering the event if we can till we get everyone a little bit further in okay good just go ahead and brace. Let's get Glitch, or I mean uh, Behemoth, up here. I think she is going to be good just sitting right here, because that's going to give her a nice large arc of fire she can lob missiles down on. Alright, so let's get Glitch there, mid there. Okay. Wait for my turn. And I don't know where reinforcements and such are going to come from, so I kind of want to be in the central area. Um, actually, I might move Behemoth around it up. Because it might be better to have her up in this area. It'll be easier to uh, defend her. We shall see once I get Decker up here. Okay, I'm not showing... Oh, okay, it's just purple. Got it. Mineral field. Right, we'll go here. Might be triggering it soon. Yep. Up, oh! Got contacts okay, that must be... Yep, that's the reinforcement. Okay, let's go handle the reinforcements then. And ignore this dude. Um, okay, so he ran... Let's get Behemoth... 
I think Behemoth's going to be good right here. Let's move mid. Get him out here. It is a 55 and a 65. So that could be a Catapult, a Thunderbolt, or a Jaeger. And 55 could be a Shadowhawk, a Wolverine, or a Griffin. Um, okay, so we got mid there, Brace. Let's get Good Glitch go. over. Got it. And Brace. And then we can move her up slightly. Get her face in the right direction. Let's get this done. Only plus two morale this turn. Oh, because I'm maxed out, no wonder. Yeah. I was like, I should be getting four. Okay, so the 55 tonner moved. I'm gonna reserve because I want the 65 tonner to move next. Yep, it's, ooh, it's a C1, nice. Well, I got evasion. It's not too bad. Oh, I've got something. and a 60 tonner, so that's a, that's a quick draw. Well, everyone has moved on their I'm turn. Showing minor damage. Um, I'm actually going to... Let's sensor lock the catapult. Oh, and they're in shoddy Got condition. So 50% armor. Nice. These are going to be easy to take down. Um, I am going to move him back out of the direct line of fire. Um... I'm hoping that this will help. I don't want to go too far over into the structure. I don't want to trigger the the trap unit yet. Or his support. Oh, I did. Okay. 95 tonner. That is a banshee. Okay. Standing by. All right. So we're going to have you attack and Here it comes. try to knock. We're going to try to knock down this catapult first thing. Nice. Whoa, we shredded the crap out of them. All right. Um, let's do glitch do next. Fire the LRMs. That's going to knock them over. Yeah, critical hit. Okay, I was like, better knock them down. Jeez. Can't get anything, so we're just gonna have you sit. Uh, Decker, you're next. Let's have you. Sensor lock the 55 tonner. I think his back is to us, possibly. Nope. Actually, yes. Griffin turned around. What a bonehead he is. We shall show you the error of your ways. Um, actually, I'm going to have him jump down here. Roger that. I... Wait a minute. I sensor locked him. Why is my sensor lock gone? Okay. That was interesting. Um, well, we can't do anything, so we're done. Taking a protective oh, now it appears. Okay, that was buggy. Oh, here comes the uh, catapult. And the banshee.
Okay, Decker, let's lock him. We're going to have to take care of this Banshee sooner rather than later. Um, they're not within visual, so we're safe from them. Um, stick around. Roger that. Digging in. And everyone's just going to start focusing on him. Another 65 tonner. Yeah, keep milling about down there. That's fine. All right, let's do Behemoth. Oh, I got to rotate you in place to get you. Oh, you do have. Okay, I did have to rotate you slightly. Um, uh, I'm going to do a precision strike on your CT. Um, I'm going to try to burn you down as fast as we can because... The, it will be bad if you get into the fight. Ooh. Oh, yes. Engaging jump jets. Although I should have waited. I should have had glitch fire knock him down. Oh no, he's he's uh fresh. All right. Precision strike. Center torso. Everything. Let's get glitch into this. Oh, glitch can jump in too. Time to fly. All righty. Uh, let's do an alpha strike with you as well. We've whittled down a lot of his armor and all that, but uh, I want to finish him off fast. Head hit and a knockdown. Nice. <clears throat> okay. Okay. Um, Decker, let's have you reserve. Oh, he's in view now. Who's he going to shoot at? Okay, mid, that's fine. It's another catapult. I'm going to get more LRMs. Yep. Oh, glitch is getting... Okay. Well, we jump, so we have good evasion. Um, okay, so... Decker. Yes, Commander. Let's have you sensor lock this catapult and remove his evasion. Got a lock. Uh, you're going to... Stay there. Down. He's going to get up. Okay, shaky screen. Okay, that didn't really do much, and I'm happy about that. Uh, right, so... Behemoth, let's have you fire at this catapult with everything. On it. Okay, he has almost no armor left on anything except his head and CT. Okay. 
Okay, mid. What? Can we multi-target? No, we cannot. If we move... Okay, we got to rotate a bit. Now we can multi-target. 85s and 95s. 90. Okay, um... You're A, we're going to fire just SRMs at you, and we're going to fire everything else at you. Because I should be bulwarked after this attack. Engaging multiple targets. Knocktown right torso destroyed, so that's two injuries. Head hit, nice. He can take one more hit, probably. Um, okay. Waiting on you, Commander. Glitch. One or the other. Okay, we are going to have you focus on him. Oh, lots of heat. Uh, can't fire the PPC. Um, we won't fire LRMs. One point left on his head. Wow. He is hurting badly. Um, actually, I do want knockdown. So let's get rid of the medium lasers. Fire the LRMs. I want to get as much shake on him as I can. And fire. Ooh, two PP secrets. When I shoot you, you'll take it as light. It's gonna fall. Yes. He might be dead. Yes. Cool. Intact Banshee. I wasn't expecting that because I was just trying to get rid of him as fast as I could. Oh, what was that? Uh, I missed it. That was a quick draw. Oh no, that was the Griffin. Okay. Um, let's reserve. Here comes a quick draw. Oh. All right, and that's another. Nice, I'm bulwarked, so. I think we're just gonna stay up there on the high ground and be bulwarked. That is totally fine by me. Okay, so is he not getting back up? Oh, we knocked him down into our initiative phase. Um, let us do Commander. Decker. Do a sensor lock on this quick draw, I think. Remove his two evasion. And, all right, let us, you're done. Stabilizing and bracing. Oh, his leg went all weird getting up, but okay. Missing half your weapons, basically. That's fine. You scratch my side torso. Um, okay. Receiving. Behemoth, let's do multi-target. You're A. You're B. You're C. C's just gonna get one LRM-10. Um. You're about ready to friggin' die. Um, we're just gonna fire one LRM-15 at you. So I think if we pop a side torso, you're going to die. And we'll fire an LRM-15 and a 10 at you, quick draw. Engaging multiple targets. Okay, didn't destroy him, that's fine.
All right. Uh, mid. Let's rotate you. Give everyone a nice front view of you. Um, we are going to multi-target as well. Um, you're A, you're B, you're C. C is going to get the LRM 20s because that's all that can hit him. Uh, B is going to get the Gauss and the three medium blazers, and A is going to get SRM-6. Alright. He's still alive somehow. I don't know how he can still be alive, but okay. He is effectively a matchstick. I hear ya. Uh, yeah. So if we hit attack, yeah. He has one laser he can fire okay. The other one is going to cause him heat penalties. Yeah. Okay, we're going to fire... Alright, we're going to do multi-target uh, as well. So A, B, C. A is going to get these SRM6s. B is going to get the medium lasers. And C is going to get the two LRM... Actually, C is only going to get one... LRM 10. A is going to get the other one because I kind of want to finish him off or knock him down, whichever comes first. Um, so yeah, A, B, C. Okay. Yep. That looks good. Uh -huh. CT destroyed. Good. Okay. That's fine. He's going to get knocked down. He's getting back up. Receiving you. Okay, so he moved. I'm going to sensor lock him. That's fine. Sensors locked on. You're done. And the other catapult. Okay. I'm bulwarked, so that's not going to do as much as you think it is. Um, okay, Behemoth, you're getting... Oh, actually, you're not that hot. Okay, awesome. Uh, let's do multi-target. A... No! Oh, crap. Mm, I didn't mean to do that. I misclicked. Oh, well. That's fine. Target's taking a critical hit. That's fine. <laughs> I didn't mean to do that, but all right. Let's try this again. A, B. Okay, there we go. And hey, it picked everything the way I wanted it. Actually, I'm not going to fire the Gauss. Actually, yeah, let's just try to get it over with. Engaging multiple targets. Ooh, head injury and knockdown. And he popped the side torso, so that's three injuries. Nice. What can I do for 
area. Uh, we're gonna cool you off. Let's just fire at him. Oh, damage both his weapons. Nice. Another hit like that and you're toast. No problem. No problem. Uh, no. Uh, oh, welcome back, by the way, Flying Holo. Um, I finished up the one that you, when you took off, but I have not gotten another one yet. So this is my first mission after that. Um, it's just a, uh, spring a trap mission, straight up battle. Um, I think after this one, I might have the next story mission pop up. We'll see. Um, Madeira, he just went off to his home world to try to get some blackmail material. Um, which I know that's probably going to backfire horribly on him, I'm guessing. So, since I'm not involved directly, we'll probably have to go rescue him or something. <laughs> that's what I'm guessing. What's up, boss? Uh, let's do a jump. And let's do a sensor lock on. Yeah, keep focusing on him. I've got a sensor lock. Here's the quick draw who's been hiding. Or the other quick draw who's been hiding. All right. Behemoth. Uh, let's do multi-target and not mess it up this time. You're A. You're B. 25 on each of you. He's going to fall over, but that's fine. I just want to kill him. Okay, mid's turn. Can I... I can get a direct shot at you. Okay, so I'm going to do a precision strike on your leg. We will just fire one medium laser in the gauss. Engaging target. Oh, ten left. I should have fired one more. Darn it. I forgot he was guarded. I didn't look at that. Ugh, my bad. Waiting on you, Commander. Um, let's do multi-target. Your A. Your B. Oh, I can't see you. Okay, never mind. Let's get rid of you. Well, you'll be B. And we'll just fire the SRM-6 at you. And yeah, we'll fire one LRM-10. Knock down. Yeah, these guys, I think, are going to all fall one after another really quickly. Because they're barely holding on, most of them. Yeah, I don't think he has any weapons left. <laughs> Alright, let's get you where we can actually have you shoot some stuff. That looks like a good spot. Affirmative. Let's fire at him. 
Thawed by medium lasers. Firing on target. Solid connection on that one. All right. Yeah, that would be cool. Damage. I'm sure if you you got in the right position, if they were all clumped up, you could maybe do a multi-target, but Decker doesn't have that, so I would have to put one of my other pilots in that mech to do it, to, to attempt it. All right, so... Multi-target again. A, B, C. Um, we're going to put two of you on that. Uh, B is going to get an LRM 10. Oh, yeah, area effect damage. Yeah, that would be cool. Yeah, because then it would just be like, a wall of fire hitting all of them so but yeah that would probably be a little too op <laughs> so i can understand why they wouldn't allow that and it would suck if it got used against you you'd be like god oh, damn it <laughs> all right multiple enemies locked in all right and you and last but not least the griffin No, you're not. You got increased heat threshold of 30. <laughs> okay, so mid. He is actually pretty cool at the moment, so let's do multi-target as well. You're A. Uh, you're B. Your C. Um, yeah. I think that will do nicely. All right. Engaging multiple targets. Okay, he's dead, so let's see if we just get a three for. Oh, that's two. And last but not least. And I think he's dead. Nope, pilot injured. Darn it. <laughs> I was hoping to wipe out all three of them in one one fell swoop. I hear ya. All right, Glitch, take us home. Let's not fire all those. Let's just do a PPC shot to the... Yeah, that should be more than enough to the CT. It wasn't that exciting, Glitch, honestly. All targets down, Commander. Good shooting. Mission successful. Well, I have a fully intact Banshee if I want to salvage that. Which I'll probably do that, unless there's some really cool, like, uh, enhanced weapons. Okay, 80, yeah, I didn't get much sea bills. That's fine. I wasn't going for that. Uh, 2,800. No one was injured, so that's a good sign. No damage, really. Okay, so we get three priority. Ooh, I can finish off with Catapult C1. And I can finish a, the another Banshee. Let's look at the weapons. Plus five damage medium lasers. Nice, not bad. Plus 50. Oh, that's up there. I want the 100, though. I think I'm going to do... I'm going to complete my Banshee and my Catapult. Hope for the Rangefinder. 
Oh, cool. I got the rangefinder. Awesome. Nice. Oh, and I got the third piece of the banshee, so all right. Oh, I finished a griffin, too. So I finished three mechs. Awesome. All of which are going to go into storage. <laughs> Okay, come on. Slow load. That neck you asked for. Cleared for fighting. Ah, uh, the catapult C1, just like its namesake. It's good at lobbing large numbers of missiles over terrain without fear of return fire. Surprisingly, it is it's also not too shabby at closer range uh ranges in a pinch. Yeah, not as good as my stalker though. The only thing it has over the stalker is it's faster and has jump jets. But yeah, it can't carry the, the weapons load out of the stalker. The Banshee 3M mounts respectable weaponry with better than average speed and armor. It comes at the cost of a very, a very poor heat management. It's good at hunting lighter units, especially if it can close to melee range. Close to melee range. Griffin 1Ns use their jump jets to stay at range and pelt their opponents from relative safety. One ends can run hot if they spend all their time bounding around the battlefield taking pot shots, though. And yep, I know we got trained people. Alright, so store. Um, let's go to the mech bay real quick. Gotta store some more stuff. Because I don't need these ones out. Do, 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 do. Uh, nope, not that. That one. Yep, we're gonna store that. And we're gonna store the Banshee. And I don't think anyone was damaged, so hey, no problems there. Uh, let's look at the barracks real quick. See if I can spend any points. Oh, wow, yeah, I haven't looked in a couple of contracts. 11,000. Uh, let's go for... Let's go for that extra health level. Training confirmed, Commander. Um, let's see. Glitch, you are okay, next. 5,200. Nope, you can't do anything. Decker. Good to go. 61. You can get another level. Yeah, let's just do gunnery. You can always get better at shooting stuff. Training complete. Um, all right. Behemoth. Nope, nothing for you either. Yep, they're all two eights and two tens on pretty much everything. And mid's a little bit behind because I did a nines on two things, so. Let's see what my guys who are accumulating tons of XP are doing, so. 23,000. 22,000. Uh, Medusa. Oh, I think Medusa has hit, hit his cap. I don't think he's gotten any while well, the others have been, so. Good to go. Metal Lark might be getting close to his, although I think he's got a couple thousand more he can get. So yes, it is verified in my mind that training module three, here it says mechwares with less than 30,000 total experience where down here it says each mechware with less than 50,000 total experience. Um, it is 30,000 because Medusa is not getting any more and I had spent some points on him, so he's a little bit further up there. So I would say 30,000 is probably the accurate number. Hopefully they'll fix that typo at some point. Um, let's see. Uh, next we are going to do, let's look at contracts, see what pops up. Um, so I could do a raiding party on here. It's a three skull battle straight up. I might do that just to be quick about it. And that should trigger the next story mission. Because I, if I recall correctly, it seems like it's I can get two or three contracts in between 
priority missions, it seems like, before they appear. So, whereas this, I'd have to go 16 days to get to it. And it's actually not, I mean, it's better salvage, but it's a battle too. Um, but yeah, let's just do the, this one. It's local. No one was injured, so we can do it. All right. Raiding party, it is a straight up battle in a desert. Three skulls. Almost 900k max C bill payout if I choose that. Or three priority slash 14 total salvage if I choose max on that. We have detected an inbound dropship belonging to the local pirate organization. Our local defense forces in the expected drop area are ill-equipped to handle a lance of max, but with your aid, we can ensure that the raid go does minimal damage. We'd like you to intercept the pirate lance and destroy it. Commander, the pirates wouldn't send a dropship if they didn't mean business. So if we take this job, we should stay alert down there. Um, it's three skulls. Uh, I think we'll be lucky if they have one or two heavies. And if it's only one lance, which it might be two. Um, I think I might go... I'm going to stay middle of the road. I'm going to go for a little bit more sea bills on this one. Because I don't really see that we're going to get any heavy mechs or anything like that. Or anything I really want. Um, I mean, it is tempting to go a little bit further. But if I get some good weapon choices, then having two is nice. So, all right. So let's just do that. Except middle of the road. And everybody's in their respective mechs. And deploying. Okay. Destroy the invading lance. So if they're shoddy, I'm guessing there'll be more than one lance. But if they're pristine condition, full armor, then it's probably going to just be a single lance, I would guess. Of course, I'm totally guessing. And I could be completely wrong, and it could be like a shoddy lance, and a fully pristine lance. Who knows? Command interface initiated. The enemy dropship landed somewhere in this area, Commander. Acquire their location and engage them. Let's put a stop to their raid, Commander. Okay, y'all. Stay frosty. Okay, let's see. Let's, let's see. How narrow is this map? And... Wow, it's actually... Whoa, okay, that is a very wide map. Um, let's see. Might be worth it to try to come around on the right side, because I'll have a lot more cover. Going straight in is not going to be very good cover. Or I could swing around on the left. I think the left might be a little easier for the stalker to navigate. Although I could use this road to get up here. Cause that's a nice rocky, rough ground for them. Um a lot of trees on this side, which is kinda nice. Trees on this Ooh, there's water over here too. Alright. Um Let's swing around. I'm leaning towards the left. Um, actually, no. Let's go the right. We're going to go up this road. We're going to go up this road and then cut across behind this uh, this uh, mountain top here. Maybe get over in these trees. And then have Decker kind of go down and trigger the event on the hill. That way we got some good cover up here. Maybe set, like, Behemoth up on this side, or 
back in the water. Actually, yeah, I'm going to set her back in the water. So, yeah, that's that's the plan. That's what we're going to do. All right. Everyone just run. All right. Roger that. Moving to position. Got it. Of course, I can also trigger if there's reinforcements, I'll probably trigger them if they're on this side. So I have done that before, so. Moving to position. Roger that. Okay, I think it's going to slow down a bit here unless we can avoid the woods for the time being. So, all right, let's get him over there. We're going to hug the upper portion of this. Lower. Lower. Yeah, Behemoth's going to make a beeline for that lake. Parker Stalker right in there for cooling. We'll just set up. Decker there. We'll put both the Highlanders in the tree line here, maybe right around here. Then have Decker kind of move forward, utilizing this as cover. Yeah, I like when we have nice, diverse terrain with a lot of features. If it's just like flat open land, it just is boring. Um, okay, let's get Behemoth running. Got it. Uh, we can start moving you up. Position confirmed. Oh, enemy contact. Okay, so we got a 75 tonner. Okay, that's a uh, Orion. All right, let's get people set up here. Yep, right there should be fine. Yep. Yeah, definitely. I like I like not taking the direct approach if I can avoid it. So yeah, letting me giving the time to set up and the room to. I really really chafes at me when I get like a shoebox size map where I can't maneuver. Where as soon as you start moving, you trigger the event. It's like oh great. <laughs> so. All right, so we got a seventy five toner. Let's reserve for now. I want to get Behemoth into this water. And a 60 tonner, so there's a quick draw. Oh, yep. I saw a little bit that looked like an Orion, so. Yes, Commander. I get you set up in the water here all nice and cool. Uh, let's see. I can set you right there. That'll work. Give you a nice wide view of everything. Um, we are just going to get all set here. Um, I think we are good. Yep, I'm just going to say done for now. Because now they're all bulwarked. Except for Decker, of course. Um, okay, reserve. Oh, Black Knight. Awesome. I do not have a Black Knight yet. I will take yours. Okay, so who can see him? That's my thing. Who has visual? What's up, boss? Huh. Um, I'm guessing it's probably Decker. Um, I'm going to move Decker back, though. Let's test this theory. Aye, 
I copy. Yep, Decker was the one who had visuals on him. Which is fine. He moved so we could target lock him. Or sensor lock him. Linear in, uh, linear how to go this way and can't flank them. Yeah. Yeah, the little shoebox narrow maps always annoy me. So I'm just like, give me my options. Let me pick, even if it's a, a ludicrously bizarre way of doing it, I'm like, I like to have those options. Sometimes it backfires on me, and that happens. And I accept that, though. All right. Behemoth, let's open up and start shake, rattle, and rolling him. Okay, so he is pristine. They are not damaged. So, yeah, it's probably just going to be a single lance then. Yeah, I would like a Black Knight. That would be nice. I think I would like one for my collection. So. Him everything I've got. Nice. Should knock him over with the next attack. Good to go. We will have Glitch go next. Knockdown. Nice. One injury. Ah, ah, ah. Uh, mid, we're just going to have you wait because uh, I want to get back up. Stabilizing. Engaging coolant system. Um, reserve. Probably going to target the 60 tonner because he's going to go after... Decker probably. Oh, I can see him. Awesome. Good. Don't have to target then. Bulwark down. Um, okay, glitch. Waiting on you, Commander. Let's do a precision strike. You have 185 center torso. Uh, I am not going to fire everything, though. Uh, let's just fire... Oh. Everything but the PPC. All right, let's do that. Center torso. Oh, all the lasers hit CT. Oh, nice. Okay, I actually was not expecting to Alpha Strike kill him in the first Alpha. I, I did not expect that. Okay, that was awesome. <laughs> nice shooting, Glitch. Jeez. Okay, now Decker can sensor lock him, and we're going to just knock him down again. Ready for orders. Oh, there's only three mechs. 33%. Oh, you poor bastards. <laughs> All right, sensor lock. Sensors locked on. Um, and you are done. Confirm. Holding. All right. Waiting for Behemoth. You. Bring the rain. Let's see how you like <clears throat> Yeah, that was it. That was a horrible bring the rain because it's like my voice cracked. Oh, bring the rain. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Uh, mid. Boom. Engaging target. Knockdown number two. He is recon. He might not have four health. He might only have three. I'm trying to think. Yeah. I, he may only have three health, but probably four. Um, and that is the Jaeger Mech Catapult Thunderbolt whatever something. Waiting for the shot. He is back up. All right. Yeah. Okay, I don't have to... Oh, I am actually going to use Sensor Lock because I do want to remove his evasion. I've 
sensor lock. God, I love sensor lock. All right, we're gonna jump you all the way over here. Get you out of direct line of sight with him, hopefully. Um, okay, Behemoth, do it. Copy that. Unsteady. Okay, this is gonna be his third knockdown. Uh, no, we are not firing all this stuff. Um, let's just fire the SRMs at him. That should be able to knock him over. Got it. Yep. Boom. Okay, he's probably only got one more hit left in him then. Um, I may pop his side torso. I think I'm gonna do that. See if I can pop the side torso. He has, oh, 22 left. Um, how much is on his CT? Okay. Let's just fire two medium lasers. That should be enough to take out his side torso. Um, let's fire three just in case they miss. I want that extra chance. Okay, there we go. Is he? Yep. Awesome. We got an intact Black Knight. Of course, I'm only getting two out of eight salvage, so I have to really destroy the living crap out of this 65-tonner uh, in order to maximize my chances of uh, getting the Black Knight. Oh, all right, catapult. Yeah, ball worked. That's fine. We're fine. Okay, he moved, so let's sensor lock. Remove that evasion. Get him down to one. Uh, we'll jump ya. Over here. Okay. Yeah, Behemoth is heat neutral standing in the water, firing everything. All right, so fire. Targeting for <laughs> I don't think I'm ever going to get like sick of seeing that. That's never going to get old. I hear ya. Okay, we only have indirect fire. All right, that's fine. Knockdown. Um, all right, so mid. Just missiles for you as well. Eh, all right, keep firing. We'll do CT. Whittling away, whittling away. Of course you're going to try to shoot at Decker. Why am I not surprised? The guy with five evasion. <laughs> Still think they should slide down hills when they fall? Yeah, that would be cool. See him slowly, like, sliding down. Doesn't have to be quick. Um, all right, so let's get Decker to sensor lock. Sensors locked on. All right, so we're gonna jump you over here, get you under cover, and five evasion. Um, all right, so Behemoth, do it. <laughs> 
fall off a cliff head first. Boom! Headshot! <laughs> okay. Uh, does Glitch have an actual... Nope, still indirect. Alright. Um, we are just going to attack normal then. It's weird. It looks like I should have line of sight, but that's fine. Knockdown. Like uh, so that's three injuries because I popped the side torso. Ooh. Mid has direct line of sight though. Yeah. Yeah, we're going to do that. CT. Engaging target. Oh, all of those hit the CT. Enemy mech destroyed. That should do it. Good job, Commander. The people can back get back to their lives again. Mission successful. Nice. All right, so let's see if I can actually get that complete Black Knight then, uh, since I only get to pick two pieces of salvage. 490. No injuries, almost no damage, very little damage. Okay, well, let me look at the... Ooh, a plus 10 damage medium laser? Nice! Wow! Okay, we've got a gyro and our mod. Uh, let's see. Leg mod. Four tons for that. No, I don't do that from above that often, so I can't justify four tons for that. Um... Hmm. Plus 10 damage medium laser is looking awfully damn good. But, uh, oh, decisions, decisions. I'm going to take two Black Knights pieces and let's see if I can get the third Black Knight and hopefully that medium laser. Hmm. It is tempting, though, to take the medium laser because I can always get more Black Knights, but these might be even more rare. Yeah, I'm going to do that. I'm going to risk that because I, I really want this medium laser. I think that overall that is the better, safer bet because that's going to be much more rare. I'll run into more Black Knights. Um... I think it's going to be significantly less often I will get a plus 10 damage medium laser. Okay, yep, I got a bunch of heat sinks. Awesome. <laughs> and one piece of a black knight. Okay, well, hey. No regrets. I like that medium laser. Okay, hoping that I'm going to get a priority mission here. There we go. Yep, so it seems like it's two, I can take two contracts between each priority mission. Uh, Lady Orano's contra contract to repel the Torian assault on Panzer is ready for review in the command center. We should follow up when you think we're ready. Um... I looked at the store here. There wasn't anything there. I'm up to almost 8 million C-bills. 
Uh, let's check my mech bay real quick, just make sure I don't have to fix anything. I don't think I need to. Um, I could swap out that medium laser now. Um, Okay, up to 15 months. Awesome. All right, Defense Panzer. Um, what are these ones? These are both on Ryan's fate, I'll bet. Yep. I'm going to cringe over settling a grudge ones because um, I have a feeling. I think that was the one I was having a lot of trouble with before. Um, all right, so we're going to look at Defense Panzer. It's 19 days out. Proceed to Panzer to protect its people from the Torians. Intel suggests that a balance... Balance Lance composition with both highly dur high durability damage dealers and high mo maneuverability scouts should, would do well in this drop. Further details will be provided upon your arrival. If we don't protect Panzer, the Torians will burn it to the ground. Ostergaard wouldn't even think twice about it. Lady Arano can't let that happen, and we can't either. Three stars. Priority mission 417. Nice. And another 1.4 million sea bills, and I'm guessing with bonuses, that's probably going to be up to close to 2 million. <laughs> Getting too much sea bills, yeah. I I'm holding off on spending them. Um, I know that there's actually a a silly achievement in Steam if you hit 10 10 million sea bills, um, which I should probably be hitting very soon if I do this mission or this contract in another one, but. I'm waiting to do some upgrades on my uh, on the Argo because the the monthly costs are going to be pretty crazy when I decide to do those. So, um, all right, so we're going to take this travel. I am going to take a quick, like ten minute break to eat something for dinner real quick. Um, shouldn't take that long it might take a couple minutes longer but um okay let me look at this real quick before we do that yep we're good all right so while we're advancing along here i am gonna take a 10 minute break and i will be back shortly so shouldn't be too long Um, we'll hit this when we get back. So, all right. So I shall return shortly. Just need to get some food in my belly. <laughs> 